Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to copy any DVD. So I just, uh, I got a DVD here that uh, it's getting a little scratched and I want to make a copy of it so that I can still uh, watch it in the future if it gets too damaged. Because I got kids and they like to pull them out of the cases and damage them and stuff. So there's many reasons why you might want to do a copy of a movie. But uh, a lot of the movies today have like some sort of copy protection on it and it's a little tough so I'm just going to show you how to do that so to copy our movie today we're going to be using two programs one is called any DVD and one is called clone DVD 2 they're both made by Sliceoff and you can find them on the internet anyways I'm going to put in my DVD and any DVD is going to pop up and say that I put in a new, a new disc and it's going to scan the disc so right now it's scanning the disc and now it tells you information about the disc here and it tells you that uh, structural copy was not found RC protection not found but it found uh, CSS copy protection was found so uh, these are a bunch of different uh, copy protections that uh, different people use on their DVDs. But uh, this one's a little bit older, so a lot of the stuff is not found. But anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to open this open the, and right click on the, the icon here. And we're going to go rip video DVD to hard disk. So now it's telling you where you want to save your DVD. Now I'm going to create a folder called attempt to and this is where I'm going to copy the disk and then I just hit copy disk and this is going to take a minute so I'm going to fast forward this okay so it's finally done and as you can see here it says done so we're going to go ahead and close this and uh, sometimes if like you could try and burn this right away with like a program like Nero, Nero or something but Often the, the DVD is too big, so it won't actually fit on a 4.7 gig DVD. So we'll, we're going to open up Clone DVD 2. And we're going to select the top one here, Copy DVD Titles. And we're going to go find the files, which is in the Temp 2. And then My Money Returns. Okay, hit OK. And as you can see, it shows you uh, here. It shows you a bunch of chapters. So a lot of these you don't you don't really need. So if they're ticked, like like so, make sure you you remove them. See at the bottom here, it says quality, and right now it's at 60% quality. It's because it's actually going to have to reduce the movie by by 40% quality to make it fit on DVD or else it won't actually fit but see how as I, as I take out like extras see how the quality of the movie actually goes up now the quality is at 80 percent still and all of this has been removed this is all extras and other scenes that you know you, you don't really need I guess so I just got the movie selected and you can tell that it's the movie because it's two hours long and you want to make sure that you click here preserve menus because you, you need the menu still, so you want to save that. Alright, so everything here looks good, so I'm going to hit next. And then here it tells me audio streams. Uh, I don't need the French, and I don't need the crappier English Dolby, Adobe, so I'm going to take that off too. And then I don't need the subtitles either, English or French. So I'm going to make sure I do the same thing here. I don't need the French, and I don't need the two channel and I won't need the French sub or any of the subtitles right so as you can see my quality actually went up a little bit more it's now at 86 percent so it only needs to uh, like fix it by 14 percent so so that it actually fits on your 4.7 gig DVD so I'm gonna go ahead and stick in my blank DVD into my computer and then I'm gonna hit next and then it's going to ask me here what I want to output, if I want to output just DVD files or an image. But I'm going to output right to the DVD writer. And then it tells you, you know, your speed, and this is your DVD writer. And then uh, 
all you want to do really uh, volume label you could change that to uh, mummy or something this is the one that I'm copying today so you could change that to whatever you want and here you want to make sure that uh, you got menus preserved your one track which is only one track with 21 chapters and one audio stream that's all I need uh, if I was to save more you know my quality would go down so I'm going to go ahead and hit go and then it's going to start scanning and stuff and this it will actually like uh, transcode the, the the DVD into a less quality but just so that it fits onto the DVD so this is going to take a few minutes and I'm going to go ahead and pause this again so the program has now done it's now done creating the DVD files it's transcoded the whole DVD into a smaller file and it's automatically started writing to the to the DVD which will take about 14 minutes so the DVD is now done Let's see it's now done writing so I'm going to eject it I'm going to just put it back in just to make sure that it's working properly it should start automatically there we go now it's uh, playing so I'm just gonna hit play and make sure that the movie's working fine And there you go, movie is now working fine.